Yeah, I like those. I, it, the first piece of Clayton's reminds me, I have a Parson Jack Russell, Olivia, who a matter of fact just turned 15 on Tuesday. She's a, intellectually, she's a two-year-old child. And she's been hit five times by skunk. The first time she was just about to bite this thing in the ass because when I looked at her, it looked like she was covered in lime lemon jello. And she's trying to rub it off, and you're completely naive. You're going, I gotta wash this off. Should I? And of course, I take the dog into the bathroom. Wrong. It took about five months for the smell to leave. Uh, you learn, you wash the animal outside. But there is, and it isn't tomato juice, guys. I'll tell you how, God forbid, it happens to you. And there's a logic to a certain part of this. Getting a, 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 a sink detergent is instrumental because it cuts grease. Duh, right? But you mix hydrogen peroxide and baking soda, and you make a nice big paste out of it. And what would shock you is immediately it starts to smell like ammonia. And, it's, and you don't wash the dog anything. You, while the dog is there, you just take that paste and, and the mix with the dishwashing detergent and you scrub all over the dog and do it, it, it. Then you wash the dog. I don't care if it's 20 below zero. Keep it outside. And then you do it again, wash the dog, and the dog's giving you this look, and you do it again, and you maybe by the fifth time, you can probably tell that it's gone. But yeah, it works. Oh, I don't wish that on anybody, but there it is.